Hello, welcome back to the channel. We continue to review the Understanding Construction Drawings textbook. This video is about Unit 25, and that is Windows and Doors. So what um, is important here in this unit is we'll learn about window construction, wood, metal windows, then window details, then we'll learn about door construction, door details, reading catalogs and so on. So we need to understand how to interpret information shown on window and door details. And um, we'll need to learn how to find this information in window and door manufacturers catalogs and online listings. So uh, there are a few important things that we need to look at before we select any fenestration. So sometimes drawings specify window sizes that are very close to, but slightly different from the sizes that a particular manufacturer stocks. Custom-made windows can usually be ordered in any size requested, but when the stock sizes are very close, it's much less expensive to use a stock window that is close to the side shown on the drawings. Um, so let's take a look at the window construction. Um, most windows are supplied by manufacturers as a completely assembled unit. However, the carpenters who install windows often have to refer to window details for information. Some special installations require knowledge of the construction of the window unit. And when a special window is required, the carpenter may build parts of it on the construction site. Um, there are uh, different types of windows. We are going to take a look at the wood and metal windows. Uh, here in this unit. So the major types of windows are briefly um, discussed in the previous unit 19. So uh, you can find the video about that. Uh, and all these windows include a frame and sash. The sash is the glass and the wood or metal that holds the glass. The sash is made of rails. Those are horizontal parts and styles. Those are vertical parts. The sash may also include mountains. Mountains are small strips that divide the glass into smaller panes. The glass is sometimes called the light. Uh, please refer to the image here in the textbook and you can see all the details. You can also see uh, the cell, you can see the rail. Um, of course, you, you'll see the um, uh, meeting rail or check rail as well. That is the uh, horizontal part that um, is um, at the end of the upper part of the window. Then you'll see the head jam, head stop, then mountains, styles, uh, side jams and exterior casing. So it's always best to see that. And there is um, a nice graphical representation here. Um, the window frame is made of side jams and um, uh, head jam and the seal. So stop molding is applied to the inside of the jams to hold the sash in place. And factory built windows also come with the exterior casing installed. The casing is the molding that goes against the wall around the frame. The interior casing and the apron, um, if one is included, are applied after the window is installed. So let's talk a little bit about the metal windows. Many buildings have vinyl or metal windows. Um, improvements in the design of metal windows have made them competitive with wood windows in both cost and energy efficiency. The most important of these design improvements has been the development of thermal break windows. And they use a combination of air spaces and materials that do not conduct heat easily to separate the exterior from 
the interior. Um, the basic part of a metal or vinyl window are similar to the ones um, of the wood window. The sash consists of a style, rails, and glazing. The frame is made up of uh, side gems, head jam, and a sill. However, the trim or casing is not included as part of the window. Often, um, the window frame itself is the only trim used on the exterior, and the frame includes a nailing fin for attaching the window to the building framing. So again, please refer to the manufacturer's details and manuals before uh, installing any windows. Um, all windows includes, uh, include the parts um, that uh, we have just discussed. However, to show the smaller parts, which vary from one window style to another, architects and manufacturers use detail drawings. The most common type of window detail is the section, and all the parts can be shown in um, section views of the head, sill, and one side jam. Um, these sections also usually show the wall framing around the window, so that's easier uh, for um, the, uh, the construction in the field. Um, some of the parts that can be found on window sections are uh, actually uh, the insulating glass unit. There are like prefabricated windows. Um, also, there is weather stripping and that uh, goes all around the edge of movable sash. Um, and also uh, there is a brick mold casing. So please again, refer to the images, see all the details. You can see how that is connected. You can see the airspace. You can see uh, all different components of the window and the installation detail. And also as always, there is a green note here, so uh, please refer to that. And you'll see that the thermal quality of a window is also greatly affected by its glazing. By using glass with low energy transmission properties or low E glass, uh, and filling the space between the layers of glass with inert gas, um, its heat transmission and solar properties can be improved. Um, so as far as the weather stripping, it is used on windows that open and close. It forms a weather tight seal around the sash. The transom bar is the horizontal part of a window frame that separates the upper and lower sash when one is a fixed sash. Meeting rails or check rails are the rails that meet in the middle of a double hung window. Insulating glass is a double or triple layer of glass creating a space between the layers. The space is filled with inert gas such as argon and acts as an insulator. Um, extension jams are fastened to standard jams when the window is installed in a thicker than normal wall. Uh, and the Final detail here is the uh, mullein, and that is the vertical section of the frame that separates side by side sash. If the mullein is formed by button two windows together, it's called a narrow mullein. If the mullein is um, built around the stud or other structural support, it's called a support mullein. Um, let's talk about the doors for a little bit. So door construction. Doors include many of the same parts um, as windows. So for example, a door frame consists of side jams and a head jam with stop and casing. And exterior door frames also include a sill. Many doors are made of a framework with panels and the parts of panel doors are named similar to the parts of a window. Uh, again, please refer to the textbook. There are images showing actually what I am uh, describing here. 
So the vertical parts are styles and the horizontal parts are rails. Doors with glass or louvers are variations of um, panel doors. The framework is made of rails and styles and the uh, glass or louvers replace the panels. Um, several manufacturers make molded doors uh, and there are a few of them actually in the field. Um, the common type of molded door is made of ha uh, hardboard for interior doors or steel for exterior doors, which is manufactured in folds that contour the surface to look like panel doors. Um, hollow core doors consist of an internal frame with skin applied to each side. Exterior doors have insulation between the two outer skin um, steel, steel skins, and these insulated doors result in considerable heating and cooling savings. Um, so um, also what else is important here, um, there could be uh, different types of flush doors um, we briefly discussed that a, a second ago, and one can be a hollow core flush door and a, sol a solid core uh, flush door. So there are uh, solid wood blocks encased with a solid frame with skin. So, and the, the hollow one um, has a honeycomb paper core insulated for exterior doors. So, um, door details, let's go a little deeper into that. Um, door details are usually less complex than window details, uh, where security, fire alarm, electronic lock, or special systems um, are required. The corresponding installers must familiarize themselves with the actual manufacturer details and coordinate their installation with the door and window installation schedule. Um, so um, many doors are sold as pre-hung units. In these units, the frame is assembled, including the trim, and the door is hung in the frame. A section view of the gems shows that, um, shows how the door is installed. Um, so the stop can be either a applied or integral. An applied stop is mold and that is applied to the gems with finished nails. Integral stop is milled as a part of the gem when the gem is manufactured. Uh, so it is important to learn how to read the manufacturer's catalogs. Um, so usually the catalog has a table of contents and websites that have a, a homepage that lists the types of windows and doors available and they're illustrated. Uh, for each type of window or door, uh, there are some important things. Uh, for example, a brief description of the window type and some of the features the manufacturer wants to highlight like a little advertising, for example, if it's a security door or if it's an impact, uh, um, uh, high impact windows and so on. Um, then there is usually an installation detail drawing. Then the size is available and this information usually consists of drawings of the various sizes and arrangements with dimensions for glass size, stud or rough opening and unit dimensions. Um, and also um, additional information uh, sometimes is posted there as well. So, so for example, like uh, optional equipment or hardware or some um, recommended um, additions there. And each manufacturer uses their own design to show the information. It sometimes takes a minute uh, to actually um, understand the, um, all the catalogs and all the description, but it's worth it because um, that is usually very straightforward. And uh, the, if the construction specifications call for a particular manufacturer, 
then that specification must be followed unless a change is authorized by the architect uh, or the owner. So um, yes, this wraps up our unit 25. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in unit 26.